One of the projects that we've been working on here in western Nebraska is ways to help homeowners uh, transition from bluegrass turf that is high water use to some lower water use uh, types of turfs and landscapes. And the uh, one that we spent quite a bit of time on is buffalo grass. And last year we looked at this buffalo grass. It was during the seeding year. And uh, we're back here this year uh, in its second year. And uh, the, the grass is really uh, filled in nicely. We still have a few problem weeds, but uh, this area had candida thistle, bindweed, uh, a lot of smooth brome. And uh, in the first year, we were able to get most of that out. And now we've still got a little bit to work on, uh, but we've uh, made a lot of accomplishments in this buffalo grass area. So buffalo grass is a really a good alternative to uh, some of the bluegrass turf. Uh, the water use is a whole lot less uh, than the bluegrass. And we're starting to see more buffalo grass in the western end of the state put into city parks, used on golf courses, uh, used in a variety of different ways here in the West. For people that want to start a buffalo grass lawn, and if it's in established bluegrass, uh, what we found out is we tried to go in and intercede the buffalo grass into the bluegrass and we weren't successful. The bluegrass is a little bit too competitive for the buffalo grass. So if you're trying to get buffalo grass established, uh, at least here in the western part of the state, we need to go in and we need to kill the bluegrass. Uh, we need to do a little bit of tillage because there's too much residue. And uh, if we do a little light uh, rototilling, we can go in the first part of June, seed the buffalo grass, and uh, watering during establishment is uh, pretty critical. You need to get on quite a bit of water during that establishment year. A lot of people think buffalo grass is a low water use grass, which it is, but to get it established, you still have to use a little bit of water to get it established. On the other end of the spectrum to bluegrass lawns would be uh, this type of lawn, which is uh, more of the prairie wildflower native grass type lawn. And uh, this lawn was established in 2003. And uh, for the homeowners, this lawn is serving its purpose that it's designed to. A very low water lawn, very low maintenance lawn. Uh, the lawn gets mowed once a year to help uh, remove some of the debris. Uh, but a very attractive lawn with the uh, wildflowers and all the different types of native grass seed heads. So a very interesting lawn. Uh, may not be the type of lawn for everybody, but uh, certainly is something that uh, people should think about as one of the alternatives to bluegrass. The, uh, the types of grasses that we have in here are uh, crested wheatgrass, we have uh, some side oats grama, blue grama, uh, buffalo grass, we have some legacy buffalo grass. The homeowner is using the legacy buffalo grass right around the perimeter of the building so that they have a little bit of turf type grass and then it uh, kind of gently uh, evolves into more of the taller native types of grasses. So, some of the, the wildflowers are black-eyed Susans, Gallardia, Mexican hat flower, uh, a number of uh, yarrow. Uh, those are the things that are in bloom now. There's phlox and a number of different uh, species that give color at different times during the season.